Hi band friends, it's Dr. Watson here. This week we're learning a new note in band. It's in your Sound Innovations book one. It's exercise number 77 on page 21. The exercise is called Sounds New. And for all of you, it's a higher note than you're used to playing. So in addition to learning a new fingering, which I'll show you in just a second, or a new slide position, you're gonna also wanna tighten up that embouchure, firm up that embouchure, get a little more air support, faster air behind it to support the note since it's a higher note. Um, the more notes you learn though, the more songs you can play and the more fun you can have with your instrument. So this is about expanding your uh, instrumental vocabulary and uh, being able to, to grow into a, a, a more mature musician. Anyway, in a moment I'm going to show you how to finger uh, or slide position that note one instrument at a time. You don't have to watch every one of these demonstrations, so I'll start with flute, then clarinet, and so on. So if you're a trumpet player, you might want to just fast forward it, right? So if you play a different instrument, go ahead and fast forward it to the instrument um, that you play, and then I'll demonstrate how to finger it and what it sounds like, and, and why don't you finger it and uh, play along with me. Or if you're a trombone, do the slide position and play along with me as you learn this new note. And then, after you learn the new note, go ahead and play exercise 77, which several times uses the new note uh, throughout. So exercise 77, sounds new, is so that you can put this new note into practice. Good luck. Our new note for the flute is high A flat. It's gonna be fingered like this. Left hand, one, two, three. That's kind of like a G, right? One, two, three. But then you add this, this curly key here, this pinky key. So I have a saying. I like to go one, two, three, curly key. One, two, three, curly key. That's the A flat fingering. Uh, you would have your thumb down underneath like you always would, except for C, and you would have your pinky on the right hand like you always would, except for D. So you always have that thumb underneath, that pinky over here, but then one, two, three, curly key, and here's a high A flat. So there it is up pretty high. So that's A flat. Now for clarinet, our high note, our new high note is a high B flat, and that's going to be fingered with the A key in the front and the register key in the back, and that's it. So just the A key, not not any of the none of the holes down here, just the A key itself, right? This little key right here, and then behind the clarinet, um, the thumb on the register key, this long key right here. So those two pinch together. You just think of like pinching like a claw. Pinch those two together, and you get this high B flat. <laughs> So that's the B flat for clarinet. Now for our alto saxophone players, the uh, new note for them is high F, it's on the top line. We're going to finger it with three keys on the top just like we're doing a G. But then we're going to add the first of the three keys down below. So it's one, two, three, one, right, one, two, three, one. And we're going to use the um, octave key in the back, right, so have your thumb, press the octave key with the tip of your thumb. So really you have three in the front on the top, one in the front on the bottom, that's four total in the front, one, two, three, one. And then you've got the octave key in the back. Here's what that high F sounds like. Now our tenor saxophone players are going to be playing a high B flat. It's above the ledger line above the staff. So there's a little line floating above the staff and it sits on top of that line. That's the high B flat. Your book shows you um, one way to finger it, which is like an A, you know, the top two keys and the octave key. That would be high A. But then you're going to add to that this bottom side key, right? There's a bunch of side keys for your right hand. Just use the side of your hand to just lean into this bottom side key. Now, there is another way to do it. I'm going to show you. Um, you could press the first finger on the top hand and the first finger on the bottom hand. So one and one. And then, of course, press your octave key behind. So you could either do one, two, and side key, right? Left hand, one, two, right hand, side key, and the octave key. Or you could do one and one and the octave key for tenor sex. All right, our trumpets are going to be playing a note called high B flat. It's on the third line of the staff, but with a flat sign. And high B flat is first vowel, just like an F. So if you relax your lips, you may end up playing an F or even a low B flat. But we want to tighten up our lips, you know, firmer embouchure. You get the air moving faster. And this is the first valve, the new note, high B flat. Okay, and our trombones are going to be playing high A flat, top line of their staff. You're going to put it in third position. I always like to say touch the bell, although it's, you know, approximately touch the bell, right? Your, your slide is about here. Touch the bell in third position. 
and firm up that embouchure and here's the high A flat. <laughs> high A flat. And baritone friends, just like with the trombone, your new note is high A flat. And I apologize, I don't have a baritone with me as I'm recording this little tutorial, but think of baritone as a cross between a trumpet, right? It has three valves and a trombone, which is a low brass instrument that's similar. So we're going to do the same thing as the, as the uh, uh, trumpets did for their new note, press the first valve. Your high A flat is going to be first valve baritone, so you're going to press your first valve. But if you want to know what it sounds like, I'm going to play the high A flat on the trombone. So baritones, press your first valve. Sounds like this. Just like the trombones, use a firmer embouchure to get up high, right? Otherwise, you'll get an E flat, which is a lower note. Okay, baritones. And there are some other notes that our elementary band students might be playing uh, as they learn this new note, number 77. Um, it could be that you're a French horn player and you're playing uh, the high E flat or you're a tuba player and you're playing your high A flat. So just use the fingering chart in your book and um, follow those same instructions.